Stewart is a solution <coughs> architect over in Dublin. Uh, he's been in the industry for 20 years. Um, thank you, Stuart. I know you personally, and uh, I know you're working within the mobile industry, uh, Telco Mobile. Um, for some reason, though, uh, Stuart's not getting much traction on his CV at the moment. Um, and when I say he's getting traction, he's just come out of work about six weeks ago. Um, it's the first time that he hasn't had much traction. I mean, Stuart, it could also be, you know, December and the, cr the Christmas period and also depends on your where you're looking. But he, think he might need to rewrite his CV as it's not the best. Um, is there anything you can do to recommend? What, what yeah. recommendations? Um, well, I think if it's worked for you in the past, um, I'm, I'm not sure if it is a CV, I mean, unless you've overcomplicated it since, if you're, if you're a contractor and if you're in a permanent role, but yep. uh, if you're a you know, seasonal contractor or a seasoned contractor, um, and it's worked for you before, then I wouldn't, again, maybe don't overanalyze it. Um, just keep it nice and simple, uh, clear, concise. And I think, that, as you were saying, um, I think just recently, there was, uh, there's some tools out there in the market now that um, could help you um, make sure that the CV is as, um, you know, as focused as it possibly could be, not, you know, overplaying the, uh, the graphics or whatever um, that can help you sort of put this thing together in a, um, a kind of industry standard way, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I think you know a little bit more about the tools that are available. Well, right? I, th I think obviously, yeah. I mean, Stuart, and again, as as Mark said, maybe maybe don't worry too much, of course, because it just may be the market at this time. Mm. But also, it depends on your length of your CV. Maybe try and make sure that's a three page CV. You might have different versions. We're going to do a podcast in a couple of weeks um, with a company that uh, provides this kind of service. So we'll we'll share that with you. We're also going to do one next week where we're actually going to take an old CV through to showing it in a different format and seeing how that works and how it looks. Um, and you also LinkedIn, of course, have brought out that new tool uh, for those who have got Office 365 where you can create your CV from your LinkedIn yeah. profile. So I would definitely check that out. Yeah, yeah, but obviously it's only going to be as good as what you you know what you put into it. And also, yeah. I mean, are you are you applying for the right roles? Um, you know, if you're not getting the, the right sort of feedback or you're not getting the interviews, is it the right position in the first place? So again, maybe just have a look at what you're applying for. Um, you know, sort of solution architecture is pretty broad. Yeah. Um, are you being too focused or are you being too broad? Maybe have a, a little bit of a, a yeah. rethink around um, your applications. And follow up. Um, follow up on every application. I mean, what's interesting as well, of course, is Stuart and I, you know, I don't know your personal circumstances this time round, but of course, it depends on your restrictions. So we often find with candidates who are able to travel or able to go out of the city or country, uh, are flexible on the industry or have cross industry or, or whatever else, it may be that broader appeal to a customer. Whereas, of course, if you, you know, you need to get home every night or be, you know, half an hour from the office, it may, may limit those options to you. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how many applications you're making. Um, so, by all means, you know, get in touch. With me. Get in touch, yep. Yeah, we will do that for sure.